Christmas Eve, YouTube. It's good to uh, be back with you for a few minutes uh, today. I just wanted to share some information with you uh, as in regards to what is currently taking place uh, with uh, Jaybird and the Skydio 2 and, and what have you. And then also wanted to add in a little, uh, I guess, comparison, a video clip comparison with the Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic 2 Pro, and then the Skydio 2 as well, just to give you something to look at. Um, first and foremost, as you can see in the uh, intro there, um, Still awaiting my Pro Kit. Uh, ordered that early on, as you know, as I've shared with you uh, on the channel. And I'm really kind of surprised that I've not received it yet. Um, thankful to have my drone, of course, but I do feel very limited as to what I can do. Uh, I've tried to fly around as much as I can with uh, only using the phone and app that I currently have. Uh, my distance is very, very short, as you can see in the video clip, compared to the other uh, two drones and devices. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's a little tough because I really do want to see what I can do with it. I want to do a more comprehensive comparison, but currently I, I don't have that option. So I'm just trying to share with you what I have up front. Uh, I haven't really seen any, uh, comparison with the Phantom 4, uh, Pro and, and what have you. So I thought I'd just kind of throw that in as a little extra bonus, uh, being that's the three drones that I currently have and use in my business. So unfortunately no Pro Kit. I'm waiting to see. Uh, how that's going to work out and see if uh, the Skydio 2 is going to work into my workflow. I'm just really anxious to see how that's going to work out for us moving forward. Also, uh, another uh, update that I found just um, a little while ago today, uh, the new version, uh, including telemetry, has been uh, added or updated is what I'm seeing with a couple of YouTubers out there. Uh, that is the version 5.41 point three is what I'm seeing is reported and what I kind of find interesting to that uh, maybe uh, there's no number sequence to this I'm not sure uh, but the current firmware that I have that came with my Skydio 2 is the 5.41.81 so uh, it almost seems like it would be a little out of sequence uh, since I already have 0.81 there at the end versus a 0.3 but that may have no significance or have no bearing on it so uh, so I'm not certain, um, but I currently do not have the telemetry uh, uh, version on my uh, on my Skydio 2, so therefore I'm not able to see that. So if I don't believe it's a later uh, version is what I'm saying or what have you, but just interested to see how that is. I have checked on that several times uh, after hearing that it has been released, and I can uh, continue to uh, click the update or check for update and it always says uh, my software is up to date as you can see here on the screen uh, so I don't know I'm just waiting to see maybe there's some kind of order as to how it's being pushed out or or what have you I've heard maybe uh, that it could be as soon as today but I'm seeing where other people currently have it so I'm just interested to see how that comes uh, comes into play as well but again uh, trying to maintain patience and and try to work through this and just really see um, how this is going to fit into uh, my workflow again i'm a huge proponent and huge fan of the phantom 4 pro i use that primarily for mapping uh, it does an excellent job so i have no uh, issues with that and then of course i use the mavic 2 pro um, and I, for that, just to let you know, with the Phantom 4 Pro, I do use the regular controller that came with that, along with my iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max. Um, then I also have an iPad Pro that I use with it as well. Uh, so you'll, you'll see that as far as uh, that's what I'm using in the video clip. Then for the Mavic 2 Pro, I do use the smart controller uh, with it. And that is my favorite pairing. That's what I use the most and thoroughly enjoy using. I can really uh, get up in the air and take off quickly with that and uh, feel very comfortable and confident with it. And then the last clip you'll see here is the uh, Skydio 2 uh, with the phone app only and um, you know I'm very anxious to see what I can do with the beacon and controller. I want to see how it's going to um, uh, compare as far as being able the usability is what I'm looking at. I'm not one that's going to be using this as a follow me drone that much and that may uh, that may be an issue in the future so we're just kind of I'm just kind of waiting to see how it's all going to come together and how it's going to work out uh, where I can use it and uh, just kind of see how things come together so if you take a look at these uh, three videos here there's uh, 25 seconds a piece take a look at those and we'll we'll come back to you in just a second <music> Oh. 
On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas. What do you think? Out of the three uh, clips, which one do you prefer the most? What do you like the best? Uh, one of the things that I was uh, looking at and kind of noticing between the three, uh, I think the Phantom 4 Pro kind of has um, what we would, what I would look at as a more uh, regular uh, size or field of view, kind of I think what you'd uh, most often see, I guess. And I do have my Mavic 2 Pro uh, cropped in just a little bit uh, on the quality that I'm uh, recording with as well. So I think with the Mavic 2 Pro, you'll see it's, um, it's uh, cropped in just a little bit more uh, with that field of view. And then uh, lastly, with the Skydio 2, uh, it kind of seems like it has more so that wider field of view, kind of what you would be used to seeing from a... Uh, from an action camera, uh, kind of the way I would the way I would describe it. Um, so I think the video quality uh, it looks comparable. I'm waiting to see kind of how it looks after editing, after everything's put together, and uh, you and I'll be seeing it uh, somewhat. I'm sure I'll see it just a little bit before you, but uh, see it uh, after together. So um, so what do you think? Which one do you prefer? What's your thoughts? Are you still interested in uh, uh, waiting for and trying out uh, the Scotty 2? Or is the Mavic 2 Pro or even the Phantom 4 Pro uh, still uh, good enough for what you're doing? What's your thoughts? You let me know. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And YouTube friends, I hope you have a most amazing, uh, wonderful Christmas. I hope everybody gets to be together with friends and family and have a good time. And again, let's not forget uh, what the reason for the season is. Uh, and I just, uh, let's don't forget that. Jesus is the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. Talk to you soon.